Okay, this is episode one <laughs> of Crossing the Border, and um, as you can see, I'm heading down the path that leads there. <laughs> this is part one, the drive, of course. I know this is considered unsafe to drive like this, but, um, sweet. Mill Creek, boys. End of the county maintenance. This is all gravel now. You gotta be really careful and go slower on this because um, if you go too fast, you can like pop your tire. It's happened to me once and I had to drive down the mountain like five miles on a flat. It was some risky shit, but um, I did it good and um, how the car still works as you can see. <laughs> Here I go. Violators will be prosecuted. That means they'll shoot me. Oh shit. <laughs> that means they'll shoot me if I try to like get on their property and take stuff. <laughs> but here we go. We're going into the backwoods now. <laughs> this is some fun stuff. One of you all got to come with me one time. We'll make a plan. We'll make it a date or whatever. Yeah. One of you got to come. It'd be nice to have somebody else that holds the camera. It'd be a lot safer, too. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is Oregon, by the way. Mid, um, Central Oregon. There's a lot of these trees and stuff, so I'm used to it, though. I was born in Florida, actually. I was born in Florida on December 28th. 2001 and um yeah I don't I lived there for like nine years but I really don't remember it at all it's really just a blank to me and um oh okay so um after that I went to California for nearly a decade and that's where I met my adoptive dad aka daddy guy but um yeah, he was a good father to me. He supported me. He loved me. He, he did everything for me. Him and my mom were also really good together. My grandmother. I, I call my grandmother my mom and him my dad because they were the ones that raised me. Um, my birth parents and my mom and dad, they, they both abandoned me when I was born, unfortunately. So, um... My granny took me in, and the rest is history. Here I am now. She took care of me, and we lived on this boat. But we had to move off, though, because they were scared I would drown. But, um, hey, I didn't drown. I almost drowned once, but that was at the beach. And I remember that. I had to swim with all my might to get back before I, like, um, sold some shit. Idiots here. <laughs> they were rude. We had somebody else coming up here. <laughs> You're filthy with a camera. <laughs> oh shit. I like to talk to myself sometimes. It's um it's not like a schizophrenic thing. I don't really see anything. It's just it's just nice when you're lonely to have like some more stuff to talk about even if there's nobody else there to hear it. And um, yeah, this has been the drive. Oh shit, we got a corner coming up here. To use my left hand, get it into this one. There we go, baby. That's nice. Normally I never drive like this, but on the dirt roads, once in a time, once in a great while, I will. I normally, I have both hands on the wheel. I have everything going on, but, um, yeah, today I need to document this like I said I would. And look at that view, man. Wow. That view is fantastic. I tell you what. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're almost there. Don't need the signal because there's nobody else here. There's a golf course down there where you can um, play golf. It's really nice. 
It's also a market and a restaurant down there as well. Seriously, one of you all has got to come. It'll be a really fun experience, as you're seeing right now. Here it is, right in here. This is a good spot. If you want to, like, um, just take a break or whatever, you know. And there's that border right there. There it is. There it is, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Shit. Look at that. That is what we are going to be crossing today, you and me. With nothing but myself, my camera, and yeah. It is really nice here, though. I like it. Really is a good spot. <laughs> Anyway, this has been the drive, and as you can see, that is the border that we're not supposed to cross. And part two will be coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, a comment, tell me what you think, and yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love you guys. <laughs> Keep in touch.